application tool. We make the development and management of your social games and multi-screen applications faster, cheaper, and easier. In fact, that last demo you just saw would be a great use of our platform. We've had over 3 million end users successfully engage with our platform through high-profile clients and partners using Lightning. We've had over a half a million in revenue to date for our services and platform on such products as IAC's social metagame, I1 Prize Arcade, where we integrated 25 mini games into one big experience, as well as what you just saw briefly on the screen there, Lionsgate's Dirty Dancing Romance Resort, which while it was uh, the fastest growing app on Facebook, garnered over 1.2 million users in a few weeks. And on the second screen, we just most recently built a system for CBC's Over the Rainbow, with live voting for the next Dorothy to star in Andrew Lloyd Webber's Wizard of Oz. Our mobile experience included game mechanics based on interacting with friends to earn more votes and rise up and become a more powerful voter. Um, the great news is that we scaled this plan, handling over a quarter million votes in mere moments and creating such high engagement that viewership didn't drop during the commercial breaks, which was a really profound thing for CBC. So recently I've been speaking about this, including at MIP TV in France, where we have found that the demand for that kind of uh, utility is very high. Now our goal is to further democratize these tools by turning them into easy-to-use, self-guided, cloud-based software as a service. Our goal is to become the WordPress of multi-screen social game and app development. And so here's a quick live demo of where we're at today. So um, what I'm going to do, if this works, is bounce back and forth. I can't quite see where my mouse is. Okay, there we go. So what I'm going to do is bounce back and forth between the game and the platform, which you can see on this tab here. So um, this is a pretty typical social game. You can see all the content, the store that we're running, and so on. Uh, there's a description of the swimming pool. You go over to the platform itself, you'll see that all of that content can be managed by non-technical people, the locks for the different levels that it's accessible, the prices, and the content itself. And so for all the typical stuff you'd see in a social game, uh, challenges, for example, uh, build a gifts vendor and the rewards that go along with it, all of that stuff is managed through these WYSIWYG tools and control panels on the back end, again, sitting the rewards, the images, and the content can all be done by non-technical staff, reducing the cost of development. So um, that's those are sort of the, the pieces of building. There's lots more to it. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm not going to show it all. But we also have a pretty sophisticated, sophisticated uh, user management tool. So we can go in and see our individual users, their payment history, the items they have. We can sort all of our users by top spenders or any other metric that you want to actually search for users on. Uh, and you can message them directly. We have triggers which are based on the same data that we're tracking everywhere else. So in this case, this is an email that we can send out if they forget to collect their reward. So it's an email that goes out when you haven't come back to the game in a couple of hours, and that's just a metric that we use to trigger it. All of that is based on pretty sophisticated data that we're tracking all of the time. So obviously we can report that data, and we have different uh, control panels and dashboards for that. They're entirely customizable, so we can uh, view all of that. We have 4,000 metrics we're tracking Dirty Dancing, 3,000 on the CBC show that I mentioned before. And as we said, our goal is to make these things easier and easier for more and more people to use, to broaden the market for this kind of product. So one of the latest and neatest pieces of the puzzle is this WYSIWYG editor. All of the UI elements that you just saw in Dirty Dancing and the ones that we have in the CBC show have all been saved in here. The top bar is just an example I'll load really quickly. It's a web-based editor where I can go in and move those elements around, allowing me to save costs as I do multiple products. So I can reuse these things. And I can actually use designers to go in and edit this. I don't need programmers to actually um, manage all of it. You can see it's pretty sophisticated. We can choose the layers, the events that are triggered. And all of this content that's filling these fields is coming from the Lightning platform itself. So let me just go back to my PowerPoint. Sorry, I haven't got it on my screen here, so there we go. So our next step is to complete development for the SaaS version of Lightning. And putting those tools, expand putting those tools in the hands of thousands of new developers, publishers, agencies, and broadcasters. And hopefully creating a bigger market in the process by democratizing. So I have a history of successfully democratizing media production including some of the first tools for uploading and editing video on the web, which was called Bitcast back in 97, 98. 
self-organizing political tools for the former Prime Minister of Canada and other innovations. I have a great team. I'm backed by a bunch of wonderful people. My lead tech won the Facebook fund when he was still in, co uh, still in college. And we have great advisors, some of whom you may recognize. So, like the Mac and laser printers, and now WordPress, let anyone publish. And Final Cut and YouTube make everyone a potential broadcaster. We believe the next major step in the democratization and simplification is creating and managing live social applications. And we believe that Lightning's position at the forefront of this transition. And so I thank you for your time and interest, and please take a look at lightningplatform.com.